Hey, how y'all doing? I'm in here working on this pocket knife, and I have the back spring and the blade rough fit up together. Of course, they're not 100% shaped, especially the back spring. I, I ain't contoured it to the bottom of the handle scales yet, but I usually do that after I heat treat it. And, um, and then when I, I will probably take a little bit more material out of the center here to help get the spring tension kind of where I want it. But anyways, I'm fixing to punch in the nail neck on the blade and then go about heat treating. So I'm going to see if I can't do a little video on that and see how it goes. So this might be <laughs> interesting. So here we go. I got a sledgehammer head in this old stump here and I got a piece of flat steel on top and I use this homemade punch this is an old chisel that was laying around and I reground the end of it and that's what I'm going to use to hot punch the nail neck in Well, as you can hear, my Ford's running out of gas, but it has just enough to get the blade hot like I need it. It don't have to be blistering hot for this. Fun part is lining everything up. So you don't make it all super crooked, which I have done before. Here's a quick look at it. I looked at that last clip I took and realized that it was out of focus. And the sound wasn't that great. I apologize for that. But... Hopefully that gives you a little better look at it. It still looks a smidge rough, but whenever I flatten it out and all like that, it'll crisp it up a little better. But now on the heat treat. Got a new thing of gas on the forge and the back spring is about ready to go. So. I did a real quick cleanup. Um, that way you can get a better look at how the nail neck did. I don't have it 100% flat, as you can see by that little spot above the nail neck. Um, this was just a real quick cleanup, but I'm pretty happy with how that punch works as far as to hot punch the nick in. I think it does a pretty good job. Uh, anyways. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you later.